So here I am in Adobe Illustrator again. I'm going to show you guys the second way you can make complex shapes. Like I said, there, there's probably more than three ways. I'm not the smartest person. Uh, I know three ways of making complex and interesting shapes to laser cut. Okay? So the first way we looked at was combining shapes, combining simple shapes together to make a more complex set of shapes. The other way you can do it is by drawing one shape, and I almost always just start with a rectangle. In a shape, it's made up of a couple of things. It's made up of um, lines, and then uh, it, I think they're called anchor points, and the anchor points are where the lines meet. You can move anchor points around. So you may have noticed, you might not have noticed, but some of you might have said, hey, there are two different types of arrows here. What the heck's the difference? This is the, the black one is the selection tool that lets me move stuff around. The white one is um, a direct selection tool. It lets me select parts within a shape and then I can move them. So, okay. So if I just want to move my shape around, I grab the black one, I move it. If I want to move parts of my shape around, I can use my white arrow. So I could collect this anchor point and I could drag it. Hello. Okay. I could grab this anchor point and drag it. Okay, I'm going to try now. I'm going to undo, undo. Command Z is undo. You guys probably know that. I'm going to try and turn this into um, uh, a picture, like a little sort of vector cloud shape. Vector cloud. Yeah, I'll show you. You'll see. That. So there are icons, you know, has sometimes like like iCloud has a cloud, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so something, I'm going to try and make something like that. It might not be that impressive. I'll give it a go. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. So right now it's down here at 100%. See that? Sometimes you're going to work and this will happen. Oh, no. oh everything's ruined. Oh, what the heck? Uh, but I just go back down here. If I choose this and say fit on screen, it'll always just come back. Okay. So, or sometimes you might be like, oh my gosh, I zoomed into 6,000%. I don't know what. Same thing. Just click down here. Fit on screen. This happens a lot. I see it a lot. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I'm going to say for me, 200% because I want to fit it in. All right. So I'm going to try and make a cloud. I'm going to try and make it quickly. So I have right now I have four anchor points in this shape. Um, I'm going to add some more anchor points. So here's what I do. I click my object and I say object path. This thing is called a path, the square. Okay. Object path. Point. Yeah. And we're going to say add anchor points. Kaylee, you know. Mm -hmm. You already know. That's great. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in and uh, I'm going to bring this out and I'm going to bring this out. And it looks just like a cloud. Wouldn't you agree? No. no. Yeah. Okay. It looks like a weird sofa. Like a, a weird sofa. Oh, I like that. You got it, Bianca. So I'm going to make these anchor points curved. So I'm going to click right now. They meet and then they go off in straight lines. I can turn them into curved lines by clicking this button. So I'm going to convert the selected anchor point. So first you select your anchor point. Boom. I'm going to convert the selected anchor point to smooth. And it does this. So I'll show you again. I'll do it over here too. So I click, click, click. 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 Okay. Click. 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 And click. Can you select multiple? Oh my gosh. Yes. yes, I think so. Click and click. Okay. And then you can also click. okay. So now I'm going to say, all right, let's make this more cloud like. Uh, and, you know, I'm not an artist. I'm sort of a design slash technology teacher. And uh, so I may embarrass myself, but let's see what I can do. You can also like move the, the Wait, thing. Can you, uh, so I'm now I'm just moving them around. This is wrong. Yeah. Is this because you're studying design? Huh? Like studying design? Are you gonna study design? No, if I want to study design, yeah. I like I don't know like, Yeah, you should. Do I have to know how to draw? No. <laughs> do you I don't think, think so. so? Look at no. This. <laughs> so I mean, both look, I'm both the I'm the design both. teacher. Look at my cloud. It doesn't even look like a cloud. <laughs> All right, that's very nice. Now the other thing you could do is when I click an anchor point. When it's a smooth anchor point, it has handles. See these handles here? There's one here, one here, one here. And uh, what I can do is I can grab them and I can do stuff like this. Watch. Like so I can start making it look more cloud-like by pulling the handles. You can pull them down. You can do this to change the way the curve moves. Okay, so that kind of looks a bit cloud-like there. I've left this one as a sharp anchor point. You can maybe tell. Now the other thing I can do with handles is I can grab, I think I can push, it's either option or command, but we'll figure it out. I'll try option. Yeah, see that plus? Mm -hmm. So then I can move these anchor points separately. Oh, okay. okay. Oops. <laughs> ah, look at that. It's looking more like a cloud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to check it. It's gorgeous. 
Look at that. We're getting there, right? So you can see, you know, am I an artist? No. Am I a design teacher? Sure. Is it amazing? It could be with some time, right? There, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm proud enough to call that my special cloud. Okay, so, so what I did was I took one shape, I added some anchor points, and then I manipulated them to create a cloud. Now you could bring in a picture of something, like a picture of an animal or a, an object. You could put this primitive shape on top of it, and then you could move the anchor points around and add more anchor points to create that shape. Okay, so this is the second way. Do you guys know what I mean by that? Or do you want me to show you? Show us. Okay. So let's just give ourselves some space here. Let's go here. Boom. An email from my mom. Uh, and we'll, let's look up um, a bird. Okay. And I'm going to go to images and I'm going to choose this bird here. Okay. I'll click it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say copy image. I'm going to go back into Adobe Illustrator. I'll paste it. Now, um, 